Hi, I'm Chase Garbarino. And I'm Greg Gomer, and this is the Bostono Beat. And it's the end of summer, and this is already our third take. I'm just coming back from Hong Kong. Phil's retired. Look at his hair. Greg is extra touchy today. So don't expect many jokes. We're not allowed to make fun of them. Long We're not allowed to make fun of them. Six, six have been shot down already. They can make right. fun of me. I'm okay with it. It's gonna be an okay show. What a weenie. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, obviously we're having some problem, and it sometimes happens with live television. Let's talk about Robocop. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it live. F*** it. The big one this week, huge one, huge one. Can we get a little profile shot of the hair? Uh, Phil Beauregard, you might know him as a uh, man with a lot of kids. <laughs> um, startup founder. I don't have any kids. Um, regardless, uh, Phil did going. something very impressive earlier this year. Sold two companies. Impressive. And hasn't done anything Not since. Not one, but two. So what do you, what's going on, man? What have you been doing? I literally have done nothing since. Um, I, I, I've, I've spent the past four months uh, in my parents' basement. Growth hacking. Yeah, I was actually just <laughs> hacking growth out, back out there uh, mm. before we started over That's here. That's cool. Um, no, but uh, since, I, uh, since I sold the companies, or since you know the the companies got bought this year, I've really kind of taken some time to step away from the scene, so to speak, and kind of crystallize the learnings. So what was it like? So, yeah, though. Tell I mean, being being retired, uh, it like was a you dream. spend time with a lot of VCs now who are vacationing. Well, the issue is is that you know VC vacay, as everybody knows, occurs in uh, occurs in August. I think it's a it's a in pullover. July. In, in September. A little bit um, of September. Um, but needless to say, I haven't been able to spend a lot of time face to face with VCs as far as No, I but know. seriously, well, uh, a lot of things that we've been hearing around the community is a lot of goss about what you're doing next. Mm. You know? It's all supposition. Um, you know, I haven't really put anything out there, so to speak. Yeah. But uh, you did say you were going to do the Bali thing. Yep, yep. I, I, <laughs> in, 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 in winter, I think <laughs> my, my next big move is, is going to be, <laughs> be a small vacation, maybe in one of those. Cliche huts that everybody you posts on growth hack. Yeah, I'm gonna hack the shit out of growth right. when I when I get down there. Nice. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. To tell you the truth, I mean, uh, you know, entrepreneurship and founding companies is in my blood. So um, I'm still trying to take as much time as humanly possible. But, um, you know, there there are a lot of opportunities that I've had, so I'm trying to keep my mind open to all of them. But I read that I'm as in, VC. I'm in <laughs> I'm in no rush to come back. VC. Well, no. Well, I wouldn't do VC right now because I already miss VC vacay. Yeah. Right? So I'm uh, I've turned the corner there as far so as I go. Entrepreneur retirement versus v VC vacay. What do you think's better? Um. But, uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on you know the size of your bankroll, mm. so to speak. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Fair. All right. You heard it here first. Phil Beauregard, and next last. partner at a VC firm. <laughs> <laughs> Making moves this week, huge moves this week. Techstars demo day, a lot of action in the community. But what was uh, what we're hearing? Um, very impressive class. Um, a lot of the companies had raised some seed funding going into it. But what's more impressive is a lot of the companies highlighted their revenue on demo day, which is kind of new. Most companies are like, oh, we raised this, we raised that. A couple of companies went and said we have a million dollar run rate. Boom, what's up, Revies? Mm, run rate is a fickle bitch, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they don't have any money. I don't know, they could yeah. be liars. But what were your, yeah. what were your favorites? I've heard good things about uh, Thrive Hive, yep. the guided marketing company. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about those guys is that they, they've actually been around for a while. And the know? name so rhymes. Thrive Hive, yeah, it does. Thrive Hive, uh, you know, I've met with the guys a couple times. Um, they're really, really open to advice and everything yeah. else like that. And it really seems like they're, they've become extremely agile. Um, but it seems like they have a little bit more collective wisdom yeah. than, than some of the younger companies. More gray I've hairs. I think uh, there's something to say for a couple of gray hairs uh, when, you're, when you're starting a company or reinvigorating mm -hmm. it, so to speak. So. Uh, Love Pop, which I'm a very small investor in. Uh, I don't know if it's a hugely scalable company because it's uh, greeting cards, mm -hmm. but those guys are crack. I mean, they're selling a ton of these cards. Yeah. It's like these very intricate designs. They have these pop-up designs yeah. that come out of the cards. They sell them literally in kiosks, and they're selling That's them over cool. the web, obviously. Um, but they've got some pretty solid metrics so far. I know nothing about cards, but they're pretty cool if you look. Greeting at them. cards are coming back. All yeah. the data would suggest it. Last one, Qzium. Qzium. Yeah. Big fan of the name. Yeah, it's a cool name. It's a cool name. Makes you think they work with museums. Sounds like they work with museums. Which they do. Keep an eye on everybody. Qzium. In the community this week, us. A lot of action. Venture app. Hot. Up and live, private. You can get in if you apply. 
But the fox is in the house. Our, uh, the our, fox is in we, the house. We notified a lot of people via email that uh, mm -hmm. we are open, the web product is live, and you can apply for early access. People helping people. That's basically it. Everybody keeps asking what we do. You submit requests. You say, I need help with a lawyer, UI, UX design, pretty much anything you can think of. Anything. We helped one company with keg delivery to their office. Street legal golf carts. We, we did that too. That's not a joke. <laughs> and we hook it up. And Phil here is an investor. He can he can vouch for literally how game Favorite changed. part about Venture App? Great logo. Venture App has your back. Don't f*** it up. One more bit of news this week. A lot of action. MTV again produced a must-watch train wreck. I don't know how they do it. It's Did amazing. you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. It was the second most tweeted about um, non-sporting event ever. Awesome. Got blah, blah, it. Blah. Anyways, <laughs> so we're going to play a little game. Great All the action that happened, more data. These guys are going to get maybe one to two words to summarize how they felt Word. about what happened. Phoebe's crying. Go. The hair. Intriguing. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Kanye running for president. Better than Trump. Ooh. Kind of like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj throwing shade at Miley. I don't know. Serious? <laughs> and Miley's nipples. It's not going to touch that one. With a <laughs> pole. Not going on here yeah. that. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> this, is the, this is the worst episode ever. Why are we f***ing here right now? We do now? it for the kids. We do it for the kids. Beers with friends for kids. That's the name of the new show.